Hello folks, time for another video and shave. Well, this one's going to be a little earlier than I do my most shaves because me and my wife have to go to a family function to actually on her side of the family. So I just want to get a little bit of this scruff off. I only have a day on here, so it's light, but I got to wear a tie, so I don't want, want my neck to be nice and shaved. Now, I'm very upset about my last video because when I shot it, and I was running through my editor. It looked great. But then when I got uploaded to YouTube, it was dark. YouTube no longer offers an enhanced uh, video feature on the on their editor anymore. So I didn't want to re-edit the whole thing back over and upload it again. Because then I would have to kill the video. But anyway, it was dark. So I don't know what's causing that. My GoPro was supposed to go, you know, do its own lighting. But check this out. I have a little camera off light today. My LED. So, I just turned it on. So that's with it on. And that's with it off. So I'm just going to leave it on for a little bit of that ambient light. So hopefully this one will be better. So, now, since we are going to an event, I was going to shave with my wife likes, which is the Vanille Minotaur, but I want to shave what I like. So I'm going to shave with some Atomic Age Bay Rum today. Now the question is though is do I use the cocoa butter formula or do I use the new CK6 formula? I have the soap in both formulas but I think today I'm going to actually shave with the older formula and it's funny because actually in the back of this container I noticed I actually have a cube. <laughs> a cube sticker. I guess I didn't want to lose the sticker back in the day. And I got you know I got some left in there. It's running kind of low. I don't know if you can see the there because I do use a CK6 formula now, but I'm going to go with the older formula today. So I'll just put that little one on the side. My wife's actually getting the grandkids ready because their parents are coming, thank God, to pick them up so we can go to this little event. I, oh, I just lost all the water in my sink. Ah, I didn't have the stopper down. Dummy, 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 dummy. And I actually put that water in my sink before I jumped in the shower because I put it in real hot because I knew I'd be, you know, probably not using all the hot water but using most of it. I just let me fill it up for a sec. Hopefully the lighting today will be better. Maybe too light, but I was just very PO'd. I actually watched my video last night and the beginning was okay, then all of a sudden it got dark. Now, in the editing software that I use, I can fix that, but then it has to recompile and do the whole video over again, and that takes forever. So I just, I kind of left it alone. I did try to fix it, but the new YouTube software that's on YouTube, they took out the enhance feature where you can play with the brightness and the contrast and everything in the videos. You can't do that anymore. Kind of bummed out about that, but whatever. So sorry about that dark video the other day. Um, so I'm going to use my Rockwell. Wow, why isn't the water stain in the sink today? I'm using the Rockwell on plate four. I have a Gillette Nasset in here today. Hold on, let me just see what's going on with this. Anyway, there's a Gillette Nasset in the razor. I haven't used the Nasset in a while. I was actually using that blade a lot for a while, but kind of stopped since I've been using those chromas a lot. I was going to shave with a different razor today too. I was actually going to shave with the future, but I really don't want to have any unforeseen nicks <laughs> or anything. So go with it safe today. Now I was going to bowl out of this, but I figured, eh, I'll just lather out the container since, you know, it's getting nice and low in there anyway. Mmm. Pumpkin bay rum. And then I can use the, uh, I can use the extra froth out of the tub as my pre-shave. I'm using my Schmoge 830 today. My board brush. And I'll just load that up this way, you know. Get the Schmoge. The Schmoge is another brush I like to use when I'm gathering up out of the tub. 
has that nice, it has another small handle. So for me, for my bowls that I have, they're kind of deep. So I uh, I like to use this this one in a shallow container, which the tubs are perfect. So because this handle does get slick when it gets soapy. I could rub my hand in some aluminol, but this handle does get a little bit, a little bit uh, slippery. And I'm just going to load it up, just not, not too crazy. You know, that's it. I'll face loud of the rest. And I'll just take the extra from the tub there, which that should be plenty as a pre-shave. And I can tell you that my grandkids are out there. Give my wife a hard time. Give grandma a hard time. So I said, let me get in here, take a shower and shave so I can have at least an hour before we have to get out of here. I gotta put on my suit. And blah, blah, blah. I love that scent. I love Bay Rum to begin with. And especially with Phoenix's uh, formula, I know there's no clove in it. Not that clove bothers my skin, but this is a great, great bay rum scent. That's why the second this came out in uh, CK6, I make sure I picked it up. But, that's the other thing too. You have the artisans with all these soaps and they change, you know, all oh, got a different formula and like, how do you keep up? It's like, you know, I mean, I'm on a pretty fixed budget and it's like, I would like to buy all the new soaps that come out, but it's like, sometimes it gets a little too crazy. But, like I said, the second that Organism 46B comes out in 2K6, off the big cheap borrowing steel to get that soap because <laughs> I love organism 46b all right so now I'm just gonna take the schmog paint this on my face it's gonna go on a little thick because uh, it's you know on the brush but I'm gonna add some water just laying down the foundation the foundation I can't speak still PO'd about that video. I hope this video is not going to be too bright too bright now, but I'll show you the light I'm using. <laughs> it's actually one that I used to use in, uh, at nighttime for when I was working on my boat. Uh, my phone's always got a ring when I am on the phone. I mean, when I'm on making a video. Huh. That was actually a video message from Josh. Anyway, okay, we'll call him back after the video. Little Dunkarooski in the sink. Love that scent of Atomic Bay Rum. There's not many soaps that I own where I don't like the scent, otherwise I wouldn't own them. <laughs> and the uh, the bristles now on my Schmoge 30 are nice and uh, they're broken in. I've had the brush over a year now, so they've broken it broken in nicely. Almost feels like a soft badger almost now. And it blooms out. You'll see when I'm done. It's a great brush because it's, it's an expensive brush. Alright, so I'll do the Rockwell Play 4. The Success. Uh, with the Gillette Nasset Blade. 
just can't forget about my mole that I kind of <laughs> nicked the other day. Hey, speaking about Nick, you know, I've been seeing all these uh, Razor Rock uh, Game Changer ads lately. And it's been showing some of the YouTubers, you know, the, the big YouTubers that have the big numbers of uh, viewers and subscribers. Even though Nick hasn't made a video in a while, but I've been seeing these Razor Rock ads with him in it. And uh, I've also seen... Uh, couple people I think heavy I've also seen one for Rockwell too just one that those guys know about and they're getting paid for Michael Freeberg was the other one I think he was with the game changer though I think I saw rich uh, you know from rich man shaving I think he was in one of the ads Now I'm guessing these guys got paid or something maybe free raises I don't know because I'm sure a company wouldn't put them in an ad without their knowledge right I don't know <laughs> and it's on Facebook where I've seen this so Whatever. I actually miss Nick's videos. He was one of the first guys I watched because he was making videos way back in the day. This video is brighter. It's looking brighter on my monitor, but it was looking bright yesterday. The day before, I mean. It just like when I start to lather, like my face got dark, like I was tan. I was like, wow, crazy. And I actually went back and I. Looked at my footage in my regular editor and I was like, it looks fine. So I don't know what happened when it got uploaded to YouTube. Weird. All right. That was a good first pass. Atomic Bay Rum never, never lets me down. Whether it be the older formula or the new CK6 formula. I'm using right now the coconut butter formula, but I do have the CK6 version. But I felt like I wanted to give that a shot today because, you know, it's the one I started out with. It's got great residual. There are not many soaps that I actually own that have poor slickness. And the ones that I do with the slickness isn't super great. I'll just add the cube to my pre-shave. And, you know, that helps with the slickness, plus it also helps with the lather. face is so almost slick right now. This ladder is actually having trouble sticking to it. Because I still got plenty in the brush there. Alrighty. Just go against the grain.
Just want to make sure I take care of my neckline there because I will be wearing a shirt with a tie. And it is hot outside, so. That's the worst when you, you're shaving if you nick your neck and you have to wear a, uh, a collared shirt with a tie and you get that blood that gets on your collar. Huh? Back in my 20s, I was uh, at a job where I had to wear a suit and tie every day. I used to hate that. Because I always used to be clean shaven. I don't like the uh, the whiskers on the face, even though my wife does, but I don't. Especially when I was fishing, you know, out in that sun all day, and wind up having to put, you know, sunblock on, and it gets in the whiskers. I used to hate that feeling. Ugh, I hated that. That's why I like to shave. And be clean shaven all the time. My son, who's 14, got that fuzz coming out and he refuses to even come in here and, you know, maybe give it a shave. <laughs> maybe eventually. pretty good here yeah that's smooth I always just have a little bit a little bit right there but I also want to irritate my neck too because it's gonna be irritating enough wearing a tie especially in summer I hate that All right, around the lips are good. Check it with the old tongue. All right, just gonna empty the sink because uh, I do have some of those whiskers floating around in there. <laughs> Makes that good slurping noise. <laughs> just gonna rinse off the razor. You know what I noticed about the Nasset blades today? They really put a, you know, some big old wax, you know, wax blobs on there for inside the wrapper. <laughs> well, actually, it's got a little weeper going on there. That's okay. It's not anything crazy because I'm not gushing, so I didn't really cut myself. All right. So... I'm just going to do a quick, uh, at least I didn't get soaked down on my eardrum today. That thing was crackling for half the day, half the other day. But, all right, I'm just going to do a quick cold water rinse. Or should I say, room temperature. I can't wait for winter time just for the point of the water will be cold, cold again. <laughs> I just like that. I like to shave with hot water. I'm not, I'm not into like, you know, the menthol and the, that, you know, those crystals and I like my shave always to be warm, even if it's in the middle of the heat wave, but I do like to rinse off with some cold water when I'm done. For me, it kind of shrinks the pores, and where I thought I had some hairs left, they're kind of gone. So, that's on me. I know a couple guys made videos, and they were like, Your pores do not, pears don't recede with cold water. Well, my face, it feels like it does. So, it's maybe psychological, but now if I feel in that area, I am smooth, 
and BBS as they would call it. <laughs> so that's on my goofy face anyway. All right, so let me recap the shade before I put on my post shave. So that was the Atomic Age Bay Rum from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And that actually was in the older formula today. Let me actually rinse this tub out real quick. Just so I can show you the side of the tub without all the... I'll just wipe down the threads. Yeah, so that was the cocoa butter formula. The new formula which is the CK6 formula it says CK6 on the side but today I shaved with the uh, cocoa butter versus the CK6 CK6 great formula but there is nothing wrong with the older formula so don't let anybody tell you that I like it plenty and I just dab a little bit on the tub there with the towel. I don't like to, of course, wipe the soap on there, but just to get any of that moisture out, and then you'll see that. And then I just, <laughs> it just cracks me up that I got my cube sticker on the back, and uh, I just put that to dry on my other rack over here. Hopefully, in the meantime, the kids won't be sticking their fingers in it. <laughs> and then my bathroom will actually have a little bit of that bay rum scent which is awesome all right so the brush was a smoke 30 today and let's see what's left in that knot there i didn't even load it that heavy and they're still you know there for a couple more passes see that nice peakiness of that bay rum of the atomic age bay rum and oh that is slick one thing always about phoenix's soaps even back in the old you have a mustache laser. Their formula was always nice and slick. Crown King formula. All their formulas are always great. Like I said, I really haven't come across any soaps. I mean, there are a few that are mass produced that I ran across that had, you know, so so slickness or dissipating lather. But most soaps that I have. They have great, uh, great slickness. Like for a while, it took me to dial in Killer Bowl Bond Street, and I, like I said today, I used Killer Bowl Bond Street. No kidding, I started using Killer Bowl Bond Street back in 2006, 2007, and I shaved with that up until about 2016, 2017, religiously, because I thought you know, it was the greatest soap ever. Until I started trying some of the artisan soaps, like Sterling. Sterling was my first artisan, I think. It was Sterling, then PAA, and then Soap Commander, if I believe correctly. And, uh, sorry about the water, folks. I know some of you freak out when the water's running there. I know I shouldn't be wasting the water, but I don't use much water anyway. And, I mean, I love the knot on that. The knot on the Smoke 830, the board, you know, board bristles here. Once you get it broken in, it didn't take that long. Um, I remember somebody said, I, I told them it took 100 shaves, but it was like 10 shaves. But when I first got it, you know, I conditioned it. I ran it through with some shampoo, and then I put some conditioner in it. And I did it like four or five times. And then I would, you know, kind of strop it on my pants and on my shirt. And, you know, <laughs> it looks great. I, I call it the Bloomin' Onion just because it has that huge bloom going on. Just another one I wish the handle was slightly larger, but I have a Schmoke Owner's Club in the cabin, which I always forget to use. It's got a longer handle, and that's just a little bit longer knot, and it doesn't have the the coloration around the dye. The, the, it's just straight undyed bore. Same color, but yeah, I love this brush, and it was and it was pretty inexpensive. I think it's still inexpensive. I still think it might be under $20 or around the $20 range. Actually, I got a little bit of weeper going on there to get in the corner of my lippy. That's okay. I didn't even catch that on camera, but that's not a big deal. All right, so 
Like I said, that was my Rockwell success. I'm probably redundant now. That was on plate number four. And inside that razor was a Gillette Nasset. I don't know if I have it upside down. There we go. The Gillette Nasset right there. Great blade. I have a whole bunch of these too. And there's that blade so you can see it. Alrighty. Now I'll just throw my rock roll up on her stand until I wipe her down later. Yeah, as long as you, you know, wipe her down after every shave. They stay nice and clean. I see some shaver day picks and I see some people's razors and they're like, ooh. I understand after, you know, like 50, 60 years old, but, you know, some people don't like, I guess, take care of their razors. Doesn't take much. I wipe mine down with a microfiber cloth and in the threads I stick a Q tip and clean them. Then you don't have to worry about scrubbing them real hard with a toothbrush or anything later on. All right, enough of me going blip, blip, blip. So, of course, I'm going to finish my shave with the awesome. And I just used this the other day because I was shaving with another Bay Rum. And I'm going to use my Atomic Age Bay Rum uh, Star Jelly, Whoa. <laughs> which is joyous on the face. It replaces all those. You know, that moisture that you kind of lose when you shave. As they say in the business, it's got that good skin food. It's uh, lightly mentholated. Like I says, I'm not a big menthol kind of guy, but... You know, but I do love my Osage rub, and that's a lot of menthol, but... I really don't like that with your eyes water kind of scenario. And this is just perfect for me. Because this just has a little bit. It soaks right in there. I always take just a little bit extra and I put it on my neck right where I always chase the BBS. And like I said, since I'm going to be wearing a shirt or tie today, that area will feel nice. I don't have those stubbles down there anymore, so that's beautiful. Now, I hope this was lit better this time. And I always have plenty of sun coming in from my skylight. Just Sometimes it looks like I got this giant dark tan and you can't like really see the dark. So, and I'm just using one of my work lights today because you know, I don't have a big camera set up. I'm just using my GoPro up here in the mirror. You know, I got the iPad that just does my feedback monitor, as you can see. <laughs> so, because the GoPro doesn't have a flip out screen or anything like that. So this is without the light. And you know, it cuts down a little bit, but you know, I think with the light it helps. And I just have a point up at the ceiling because this is my Milwaukee. This is a big boy. And I got blind you right now. <laughs> so this was doing the trick today. I think so anyhow. I'll, maybe I'll just use that again. But usually I have plenty of sunlight coming in. I got sunlight coming in today, but I think sometimes what happens is my shower curtain gets a little bright and then the lens tries to compensate and it makes my skin look darker. So, all right. Anyway, not to blab about that kind of stuff, but, you know, just telling you what's going on behind the scenes here. All right, so if you like to shave, thumbs up. If you don't like to shave, thumbs down. I'm a big boy. I can take criticism. And uh, if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. There is that cool little button down on there in the corner that says subscribe. Just hit that. And then once you're subscribed, if you want to keep up with my videos, I usually post them on Facebook. But if you're not a member of any Facebook groups, you know, hit the bell. That'll remind you when my videos go live or when they're published. So, all right, folks. Until next shave. And hopefully I'll get through this event today without sweating too much. So until next shave, go on, sign and on.